Hey guys and welcome back to Celeb Plant. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Kim Kardashian maybe forcing Kanye into a conservatorship. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. It is possible that Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner will place Kanye West under conservatorship? According to one tabloid, Kardashian's relationship with Pete Davidson has pushed West over the edge. Here's the most recent information on West and Kardashian's divorce. Kim Kardashian may decide to place Kanye West under conservatorship according to the latest issue of In Touch magazine. It's no secret that Kardashian's estranged husband had made quite the spectacle out of his personal life over the last few months. The rapper has been airing his frustrations on social media and threatening Kardashian's new beau, Pete Davidson, in his songs. But sources say Kardashian and her mother, Kris Jenner, are especially concerned with West's behavior given his history with mental illness. An insider dishes, Kim and Kris have tried reasoning with him, but he's at the point where he fights back when people accuse him of being off his meds. The insider then added, a conservatorship may be the best route to take. Kim and Kanye's divorce still isn't final, so she can apply for conservatorship. And Kardashian is going to need her mother's help when it comes to handling West's money. The snitch muses, Jenner would be delighted to help with Kanye's finances. The source then added, his spending has been out of control. He bought Julia Fox a room full of clothes on their first date. With a conservatorship in place, Kim and Chris could monitor his every action. After all, more money in Kanye's pockets means more money in theirs, but a Kardashian conservatorship is likely the last thing West wants. The source concludes Kanye could be trapped in a Kardashian prison for years to come. This story does not hold water with us. While we're sure Kim Kardashian still wants the best for Kanye West's health, we doubt she'd go to such lengths as to take command of his life. Furthermore, she has made it clear that she wishes to live a life separate from her estranged husband. Kardashian filed a request to be legally declared single, which the tabloid completely overlooked. We doubt she's attempting to further legally entangle herself with Kanye West as a result of that move. Worse than that, however, is the fact that West appears to have extinguished any remaining hopes of civility by releasing a music video about burying Pete Davidson. Kardashian's efforts to flee the rapper will undoubtedly be bolstered by the shocking incident. Moreover, the publication implies not so subtly that Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner would file for West conservatorship in order to seize his fortune. That notion is not only offensive, but it also violates conservatorship law, as we saw with Britney Spears' battle to end her conservatorship. We simply cannot trust any source who would so openly gossip about Kardashian and her family. Meanwhile, Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson are Instagram officials. The new photos Kardashian shared appear to have been taken inside of the luxurious hotel. The Skims founder captioned the post, Whose car are we gonna take? Which is in line from the 2010 thriller film The Town. She also shared a screenshot of that scene from the Ben Affleck starring movie. Kardashian was unable to tag Davidson in the post because he had deactivated his Instagram account in response to her ex-husband Kanye West's repeated attacks on him. However, a source previously told Page Six that Davidson deleting his Instagram had nothing to do with the billionaire rapper cyberbullying him. The insider said Pete deleted his IG because immediately after his first post, he started receiving a flood of messages, both positive and negative. Reminding him why he didn't want social media to begin with, the insider then added, Pete is in the middle of a several big film projects and wants to continue to stay very focused on his work and the positive things happening in his life. One of the few bright spots in Davidson's life appears to be his budding romance with Kardashian, which according to sources has only gotten stronger as a result of the West's social media outbursts. Meanwhile, Kanye's Drink Champs interview drops and he makes it clear he wants to get back together with Kim, saying, SNL making my wife say I divorced him on TV because they just wanted to get that bar off and I ain't never seen the papers. We're not even divorced, that ain't no joke to me. My kids want their parents to stay together. I want us to be together. Also, on November 5th, the Kardashians gather to celebrate Kris Jenner's birthday. And Kris attempts to do karaoke, a troubling experience that she posts on Instagram stories. And inevitably ends up on Norris' back book for while Pete is not seen at the event. His voice can potentially be heard screaming, no, come on, in the background of this video, leading to speculation that he was invited. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.